Okay, so time for recording. Um, I want to talk about myself, and I just want to say that I am a religious person. Yes, this is who I am. I'm a religious person. Uh, this is like, uh, you know, I am spiritual. Some other words for it. Um, well, I just <laughs> miss. Uh, uh, I have always been interested in God, the meaning of life. Why are we here? What's the purpose? I've always been been interested in those questions ever since I was very young. So throughout my life I've always been interested in these questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What's the you know, what's the purpose? Is there a God who is God and <laughs> uh and as I've grown older and I've explored various topics, uh, it's just occurred to me that um, you know when you are when you're asking when you have answers to these questions to the questions about to meaning of life can be found through personal experience yeah but it, it's 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 not just personal it's it's a sort of a religious mystical um, personal experience uh, you know I believe we're all humans uh, you know there are no concrete answers to these questions Because um, anyway, concrete. <clears throat> so yes, I am a religious person. I. Why am I even making this video? I guess it's because, you know, like, we're at a point in history where knowledge is very difficult to obtain due to a crisis of sources of knowledge. When we don't trust the government to tell us the truth, we don't trust the media, we don't even trust academia, we don't even trust science. Because even science, uh, well, science has some inherent uh, limitations, but when the governments are actively working to prevent you from doing certain types of scientific research, such as you know, anti-gravity or free energy, 
because of the implications of that being made available publicly to them, to everybody. So even science, despite its own inherent limitations, because it's a focus on the material world, and I don't think reality is just made up of matter and energy. I think there is a there is something else. So, uh, and I'm just gonna make this video right now. It's just, anyway, so, yes, I just wanted to say that I'm a religious person. I, um, you know, I think knowledge is, uh, you obtain knowledge through, like, as human beings, language and our ideas, our abstractions, symbols, they have limitations. They only give you, let's say, half <laughs> of the uh, answers. The other half, you're going to have to get that through personal experience. Uh, you know, science is good. It has its uses, but... Mm, Especially when you think about these aliens and these UFOs, I think there's a lot of um, mysticism associated with them. It has to do with our own consciousness. It's it's like you're dealing with the un. There's a book about this, but it's called the unseen realm. You know, things that. Yeah, I think reality, there's a component to reality that is not physical. There is a not physical component to reality. I don't know, I have this other theory about other dimensions where that's caused by a shift in time and stuff, so... I don't know. I mean, all I want to say is like, yes, I am a, I feel comfortable saying it. I'm a religious person. You know, when you think about religion, some of the ideas are rituals, fasting, prayer, meditation, you know. These are some of the practices of religious religiosity. Uh, something I should focus on, <laughs> actually. Uh, yeah. So yes, I am a religious person, and uh, yeah. it's not like I'm. I'm, I'm not really like uh, focused on any particular religion per se. This doesn't mean I'm a moral person. I've definitely, uh, you know, I've got good, good parts about me and not so good parts about me. So I, I've got all these range of emotion and thought and even values. But you know, as human beings, we've got all, we've got this wide range. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is there is a There is a spiritual dimension to life, and I think in order to obtain knowledge of that, you need to obtain that through your conscious personal experience. And people use terms like spirituality, uh, mysticism to to sort of refer to this realm. <laughs> yeah. 